Sorry about that, guys. We got disconnected, so we're trying this again. We'll start from the beginning um, and try to answer a couple of these questions that you guys had. So, um, first one, when did we get her? Um, we've had Esther since um, August of 2012. So, um, almost two years now. I'm going to move because it looks like I might have a weak signal again. So, bear with me a second. Um, we've had Esther since August 2012. So, be three years. I guess she's going to be three years in July, which is pretty crazy. Um, hey guys, sorry, we're having some connection issues tonight, so I don't know how long this is going to last this evening. But, um, I do want to try to answer as many questions as we possibly can. So, Again, sorry for the weak connection, but um, Esther, we've had her for, like I said, three years. Um, she's currently about 700 pounds. You can see her sleeping behind. So she's on her mattress here in the living room. We're home alone, so um, the dogs are upstairs watching TV. The cats are running around. They go squirrely around this time of night. So Esther and I were just sitting here watching some family guy, and I think we thought we'd pop in to say hello. So hello, everybody. Say hi, Esther. So, a couple more questions. Do you want to do sample, baby? We had some people ask if Esther is a spade and if she will have babies. Um, so, the answer... Oh, there we go. I think we might have you back. So, we're going to try to keep it, I guess, relatively brief, guys, because this is brutal and I'm kind of embarrassed. So, I feel a little bit bad that the signal is so poor. Um, but yeah, the question was, is Esther spayed, um, and is she going to have any babies? So, um, and there was also a question there, can I have a baby? So, there's a couple parts to that. Um, no, it turns out we don't think she is spayed. Um, we were told when we first got her that she was, um, but as she got older, she started to go through her cycle, pig cycle, once a month, just like humans do. Um, so, every 21 days, right, Pumpkin? Every 21 days, she goes through her cycle. Um, and she can get a little bit grumpy and a little bit frustrated. She sleeps a little bit more. Um, so it's a pretty clear indicator that she wasn't spayed like we thought. So, um, but will she have babies? No, definitely not. Um, there's no way that we would allow her to have babies. Um, and we are looking into possibly getting her spayed, although it's a pretty risky procedure. Um, pigs don't handle anesthesia very well. Um, so we are incredibly nervous, uh, about ever letting her go under anesthesia. Um, but there is a procedure that they can do with laparoscopy um, that apparently is much easier and much safer so we are looking into it um, but we still aren't a hundred percent sure um, there's some health risks too to an unspayed pig um, they can get um, some cysts and some tumors and stuff so we really would like to get her spayed if we possibly can um, but again it's all a matter of making sure we can do it safely and that we can get somebody near us um, that has done the procedure and you know, again, somebody that operates on pigs like Esther um, are few and far between. Pigs like Esther aren't meant to live for, you know, three and four years, and they aren't really meant to, um, or, or don't very often go through, you know, invasive procedures like that. So there's not many people in the world that know how to do it, um, and that are confident to do it, or that, God, that we would be confident in letting them do it on Esther. So, yeah, that's a really tough one for us. But... Anyway, yeah, so she's not spayed. Um, we're pretty confident of that anyway. No, she will not have babies. Um, so no, nobody can have one. <laughs> um, is she house trained? Yes, of course she's house trained. Um, she's about 700 pounds and the mess that would be created if she wasn't house trained would be an absolute nightmare. So she asks to go outside, just like the dogs do. Um, she actually, as you, many of you have probably seen, can open the door herself. So she'll let herself out when she wants to go. Um, usually we'll hear the door get flung open. Um, and that's how we know that Esther is up and has taken herself outside um, or is bringing herself back inside. She has yet to figure out how to close it behind her. So we're working on that. Pigs are incredibly smart, but we haven't got there with that yet, have we, Bob? Hmm? Not quite yet. No. <laughs> so, um, a couple other questions. Uh, why did we keep her? I tried to answer that before when I got cut off a little while ago. So, why did we keep her? Well, we got her expecting her to be a tiny mini pig. Um, she was only about four or five pounds when we got her. And we were told she would only be about 70 pounds when she was done growing, which is about the size of Shelby. So, you know, to us, we thought that was a pretty reasonable size and something that we could handle. Um, but... 
yeah, we, we fell in love with her pretty quickly. And, and when we tied, by the time we got her to the vet, which was about three weeks, I guess, after we got her, um, he immediately raised concerns because Esther has a cropped tail, um, which the vet said is a very clear indicator uh, of Esther being a commercial pig. So um, keep in mind at this time she was still maybe 30 or 40 pounds, so the size of a very large cat or, you know, kind of medium-sized dog maybe, um, but didn't look any, any means like she was going to be huge. Um, we were told she was six months old when we got her, which of course turned out to have been um, either a lie or a mistake on the person we got her from's part, so we're not really sure what happened with that. But either way, she kept growing and we were in love with her and we started looking for what our options were and there was nothing. Um, at the time, we didn't even know that farm sanctuaries existed, so we started to do a little bit of research and we found out that they did in fact exist, but of course that they were jammed full um, and didn't have any space and that there was more need for home for farm animals, believe it or not, than there was people to take them um, and give them safe homes, of course. And also at this time, Esther was a house pig. I mean, so in my mind, the thought of putting her in a barn um, just wasn't going to happen. There was no way that I was willing to do that. So we toughed it out and again kind of grasped onto the fact that maybe she wouldn't get as big as we thought so um but yeah she had other plans and just kept on going and kept on going um but yeah it wasn't her fault um she didn't ask to get as big as she got and you know we we you know pets are forever like we we weren't just going to give up on her because she got too big so you know we figured it out didn't we pumpkin yes we did so that's that. Um, that's why we kept her. And and will she get any bigger from now? No, she shouldn't get any bigger. Her body's pretty much done growing. She could get fatter, I guess, just like a person. So we watch very carefully with her weight. And actually, we've got her on a little bit of a diet. Hey, you're on Operation Slim Down, aren't you, Bubba? So we're trying to get her down just a little bit. Um, pigs, of course, are bred to get very big very quickly. Um, they're not bred to live for 15, 16 years, which is what we're hoping, and I know is optimistic, um, what we're hoping to have Esther for. So um, they have problems with their joints, with arthritis and with their hips and stuff like that. So um, we have to be really, really careful to make sure that we keep her weight under control um, and keep her as healthy as we possibly can to be not putting any extra stress on her knees or joints or hips um, or anything that we don't have to. Um, as you guys see, she gets tons of exercise, so we spend a lot of time outside, and she runs, and she walks, and does anything that she wants to do during the day, so we make sure she's got uh, the ability to do um, that, get as much activity as she wants, but we still have to do our part too, because like I said, they're bred to get big, so it's not just a matter of her being lazy, um, they're just meant to be fat, that's what she was bred for. Uh, so we have to be very, very careful about that. So we're working on that too, aren't we, Bubba? A little bit of winter weight, but everybody's got that. Um, how much does she eat? Um, that is a different, you know, it's kind of hard to answer. She gets about 10 cups a day, um, a lot of fruit and vegetables, and she gets a pig kibble as well. So she gets about 10 cups of that pig kibble. Um, and then fruits and vegetables, we're fairly flexible on the fruits and vegetables. Vegetables, she can have as much as she want. Um, fruits, we try to watch a little bit just because of the sugar, but um, of course she does get her fair share of fruits and that's good sugar, so we're not as cautious with that. Um, we're also just getting a new kibble made actually for the sanctuary, which we're super, super excited about. And we're going to have that in a few days, hopefully. So it's actually being milled to our own specifications, so we know exactly what's in it. Um, we don't have to buy it anymore from the farm supply store. Uh, and it, they, anytime you go in there and you ask for pig food, they tell you that it's called hog grower, um, which just leads me back to, again, you know, pigs being bred to get big. And we definitely don't want to be feeding them a food that is designed to make them grow quickly and, and to put on lots of weight. So we're so excited to have our own feed being made for us. Um, and that's what Esther is going to be eating as well. So just another part of us being aware of what they're getting and knowing exactly what they're eating for her and for all of the pigs that are over at Happily Ever Esther as well. Um, so yeah, super, super cool. We can't wait for that. Um, her favorite food is probably mangoes. I would say mangoes. She loves Oreo cookies, our special treat for Esther that she also loves. Um, and spinach, actually, is something that she's really, really fond of. She eats quite a lot of spinach. You're a little bit foamy. 
So yeah, she, she loves her spinach. And then of course she roots around a lot in the summertime, especially of course, ground's frozen right now, but um, she roots around a lot in the summer. And so she eats probably a lot of bugs and I don't know what else she's finding out there, but she spends a lot of time doing it. And of course grass. So I would imagine she eats quite a lot of grass. So um, yeah, so that's that. Um, any other questions, I'll come back to the feed and have a look at um, after we're done here and check that out and see if there's anything else that we've missed or anything in particular. Um, it's super cool to have you guys here. I wasn't sure how this would go late night on a Saturday, just kind of popping on randomly. Um, but I'm really glad you guys came to have a listen. I see we've got 4,200 people watching right now, which is pretty crazy. So hello, everybody. Hello, Cheryl and Zeb and Jessica and Jennifer. And yeah, so um, pretty crazy. Again, this whole Facebook Live thing blows my mind. So we'll do it a little bit more often and try to get on and say hello more. Um, and I'm afraid to move the phone that I'm going to lose my signal again. I don't want to cut everybody off. But Esther says good night, hey, Baba. Give a little bit of a belly rub for everybody. Hey, little bit of a belly rub. Oh, yes. <laughs> Good girl. Good girl. Hey. Yeah. So, this is on our mattress that's partially shredded. We've got the blanket over it here, but you went and chewed that corner, didn't you? Hey, lasted a whole month. Crazy piggy. Hey, crazy piggy. <laughs> so, anyway, thank you again for coming, everybody. Have an awesome night and enjoy the rest of your weekend. Um, we're just going to go and gonna watch a movie and that's probably it. Doesn't look like Esther's up for doing a whole lot of anything tonight, are you, Bubba? No, pretty tired piggy. So, we'll try to move you in for a little bit of a better look at Esther here. We'll see if we don't lose the signal. And then we will say goodnight to all of you. Say goodnight, Esther. Say good night, Esther. Okay, one more little apple treat. Have a great night, everybody.